Hello, this is Ashley Seller. a new product that I developed and before I tell you what it is I just kind of want to give some background information about what I've discovered uh, in my time as being a I guess a YouTube person that makes videos um, about speech therapy when I first started um, I did a video one of my first videos was called speech therapy techniques for toddlers and infants if you have not seen that video please go check it out out of the nine videos because i haven't uploaded the ones i've done today already so i'll say out of the nine videos that have already been uploaded um this particular video is my most popular video it's been there since september of 2012 as of last night it has about 5,400 and something views which for me um, as an individual person that is a lot I mean you know speech therapy is something that's you know somewhat educational and medical and a lot of times when people get on YouTube you know they want to get on and, and see things you know that they enjoy and this isn't you know always something that you know people enjoy so in that particular video I discuss a product I developed called Baby's First Words. And as you all know, I sell my products on my website. That is my best seller. That's my most popular video. And that is also my best seller. And I just want to tell you guys that it means so much to me. When I developed that product, I really did develop it from my heart. And I was really scared that it wasn't going to be well received. But I just want to tell you guys, thank you so much. I'm so appreciative. I hope that it's being as effective as you need for it to be. I had so many of you um, email me and tell me the reason why you're using it. A lot of the reasons that I received was like, you know, maybe your child is on a long waiting list um, to get in at a speech therapy place or whatever. And until you can find time for your child to get in, that you're using this as something you can work on them with. But I'm so glad that you're finding it useful. Um, and if you have any questions about that product, if you've gotten it home and it hasn't been well received, talk to me about it so I can, you know, work with you to work out the kinks. And I will say this. I develop my products based on the things I want to get out of my speech therapy sessions and it's a joy for me to make it available to anyone else. I'm not trying to come to you and act as a super duper publication person or a language system person. They actually have ex SLPs with way more experience than what I do, special educators and people of that nature that they come in and they actually get their things tested and they really see how effective it is before they put it on the market. These are things that I give based on my experiences and a lot of these ideas come from when I go to one of my sessions and I work with one of my kids and I'm like, mm, this particular toy it's not really targeting it's not really getting in what I want to get in what can I do what can I develop um personally and specifically for this particular need and then I just make it available so anyway I said all of that to say thank you and the not product that I'm going to discuss with you now falls into that same category and I promise you you guys when I was creating this um I wasn't creating it to make it similar to the uh, baby's first words um, and it is kind of similar to that one but it's not because baby's first words deals mainly with just producing those sounds but it also has a language concept to it as well whereas this early book that I'm going to talk to you about is more of an uh, articulation activity book so it's called um, this book is called if I'm not mistaken hold on y'all I'm, I'm going to pull it up on my computer screen very quickly because I want to give you the right name for it. Okay, it is called Articulation Activity Book of Early Sounds. That is what it's called. Articulation Activity Book of Early Sounds. And it targets the B, P, M, and N sounds. This book is appropriate for kids that are age 2 until about age three or four 
it can follow them to early kindergarten just if they're having um a hard time up until that age really being able to say these sounds so this is mainly for my early intervention babies for my my infants infants and toddlers um mainly from two i mean you can start a one-year-old looking at this book i don't know how they will respond to it but you can start a one-year-old like maybe when they're about one year six months to one year eight months and they're used to being able to sit down and do some play stuff but mainly i would recommend starting it um for two and using it for kids that are between the ages of two and four maybe two and five um and it covers b p m and n and then you guys i don't know why but <laughs> as a speech therapist those are like my favorite sounds to teach and really those aren't the sounds that people mainly have the most problems with i mean those are just my favorite sounds but anyway um so the activity i'm going to discuss is articulation activity book of early sounds well so what i was thinking was because i'm knowing now through doing these videos that i have a lot of parents that are actually taking the initiative to get, buy these products and use them or some graduate clinicians that are starting to download my products and use them i always want something that's interactive something that's going to draw um the children in okay so the way that this book is set up it's set up like a book but it's more of an interactive activity book and so basically what you're going to find i'm going to give you an example um i think we're going to deal with b today um but i will show you what the whole book looks like okay so this is not the cover this is kind of like the first activity sheet hold on because I want to take it down so you can see it let's take it down okay put that over to the side and here's your first your first page okay go up a little bit okay so basically on each page, you're going the first page before when we're starting to introduce the sound, this is dealing with the sound in isolation. When you deal with the sound in isolation, that means that you're saying the sound by itself and you're mainly just focusing on how the sound is produced, how it's made, what it sounds like, okay? So basically what you see is a raindrop here full of B sounds. And at the bottom it says, oh look, at the raindrops fill with the letter B. Let's point to them while we say the B sound. So you're going to read that out to your child and then you're going to either have this laying flat in front of them or holding it up the way that I am and you're going to say B, 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 B. And you're going to say it about seven times. So the first time you might just want to have them watch while you, you, you always want to make sure you have this sheet at, um, at the level of your mouth because you want them to be able to kind of see you saying it and seeing you pointing at the same time. Okay, so you might want to do it first and have them do it. Um, have them listen. And then you take the time and say, B, and have them repeat. You have to get that little finger and bring it up here and say, B, have them do it. And so another thing, you know, because, you know, my thing, what I always say is, all of my books are designed to grow with them as they are better able to say the sounds. So never feel like you have to get through this whole thing in one day. And even though I'm saying this, uh, this is a book, if you will notice, it's laminated. It's on cardstock. It's not attached because you may have to deal with the page individually. So you want to be able to be able to take it out and have it individually to be able to deal with it because you may only be able to focus on this for right now. Okay. And so another thing, another suggestion that I made here at the bottom was you can, it says extra, you can place a snack like Cheerios, raisins, or an M&M on each raindrop as an incentive to get your child to repeat the sound. So you might, and you may have some um, Cheerios, get those things I names like raisins, peanuts, Cheerios, or something like that, put it in a bag, either you can have them say the sound and then give them one, or you can lay it flat, and place it on there as you go and have them say b b b as they're taking it off and they're putting it in their mouth now you know children are going to be children so 
you may have that on there and what you may want to do is have them take it off and put it in your hand once they set it and then once they've done all of them give them a couple of seconds to eat it because this is going to take a minute you know if you put it on there and it's like okay buff but and go you know it may take a minute for them to you know get through it the, the amount of time because you don't want to lose their attention and you want them to really focus on what you're doing so you might lay those on there and have them put it back in your hand or put it on a napkin or something and then once they set all of them give them a second and let them eat it and then kind of go back over it again okay but that's just something that you can do so each section always as the sound is being introduced each section is always going to start off by saying the sound in isolation so this is a, what the one for B looks like. Let me give you an example of what the one looks like for P. Alright, this is the one for P. Alright, and you see it's stars and it's, it's six stars and it, and it suggests the same thing. Oh, look! Um, at the stars, fill with the letter P. Let's point to them while we say the P sound. And you're going to do the same thing. P, 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 P. Do the same thing, okay? So that's the one for P. I'll go ahead and, and I'll show you the one for, hold on, let me see if I can put this back in the right order. Okay, this is the one for M. These are moons. Okay, same thing. And, sorry about that. Let me show the one for N. Right, and this is just a, a lot of suns. N, 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 n. Okay, so that's the one for N. So just kind of give you a, a overview of what each page looks like. All right, so then once you're done with that, and, and, and let me tell you how this book is set up. This book is set up how, and I know I'm talking, but I will. This book is set up how we teach um i'll pick it up for a second this book is set up according to how we teach sounds in speech and language so basically what we do is you start with isolation once they've gotten past that point then you'll go to working on syllables and once you're done working on syllables you go to words then you might or you might do syllables and you might do some auditory discrimination where you want them to be able to differentiate between the target sound and another sound because you want to ensure that they know um how the sound is made and then you will go from that from a phrase into a sentence okay so that's kind of how the book itself is set up so the next section that you're going to conquer is going to be the syllables but i've designed it to where when you work on the syllables i've just designed it to where you can work on it using a game but let me show you something first okay you will notice on this sheet i want you to be able to see it okay you will notice on this sheet i have b p m and n these are the consonant sounds that we are targeting then i have a, E, I, O, and U. And these are the vowel sounds which are in red. This is just a storage sheet for these. So what I'm going to do is because I want to start targeting this using um, syllables. I'm going to take my B sound off along with all of my vowels. A syllable is just pairing the consonant sound with the vowel sound. So they can get used to making, blending those two sounds together. So basically what you see here, I call this heart to heart. And you're going to use this same page for every sound. So I did not remake this. It's like the second page after B. If you want to put it as the last page, then you can. I mean, it's front. I, what I did was because I want to save paper and stuff and I want it to be like a book. It's front and back. So I just have two pieces of cardstock paper on each side of the laminating sheet and that way it gives me a back and a front okay and so the heart to heart game which I don't know why I called it this and I can't tell you why I did rows of three but when I talked and I showed it to my husband last time I said well if you are wanting to um, target more than one syllable shape at a time you can already have it preset rather than having to stop in between so let me show you what I'm talking about so I'll go ahead and do Okay, 
So if you will notice, there are three hearts on each section. And that's because when you, if you really just want to get silly with it and you want it to use some of the other sounds um, to be able to make a syllable, then you, you know, you could be able to do that. You can put them in any order, you know, that you want to, because this is mainly initial, medial, and final. I mean, initial, medial, and final. So you can put the sounds in any, you know, position that you want. So being that we're working on syllables, we would say, b, a, b. A that's doing it segmented. B A with the long A. And you can blend it. Bay. Bay. So that's the sound you will get them to do there and get them to repeat it. Then I get my B and I move it down to E. Okay, where the E is. B E. B E. B. B. Okay, take my B, move it down to I. B, I, B, I, by, by, by. And you want to do it where when, when your mouth moves and you're going from one sound to the next, they see the shape of your mouth changing, okay? So let's say you wanted to bring, bring the B here and you wanted to put it behind the A. So instead of doing the syllable shape in um, the initial position, you're going to do it in final position. So it'll be... A B A B A B A B A B A B See what I'm saying? And then let's just say you wanted to um put the B sound in the middle and you're going to use A and E and it's going to be a silly sound, okay? And it's designed, so, you know, to make them laugh, but it's fun at the same time, but they're still working on B. So, that's A, B, E, A, B, E, A, B, A, B, A, B, A, B, see? And that's working on that syllable sound in the middle. It's going to make a silly sound. And actually, at the bottom of this sheet, it says, let's play heart to heart. We're going to mix some sounds to create silly sounds. These will be sure to make you laugh. Okay, and then it gives you the instructions on how to find these tiles on the other side and how you can mix them up. All right, A, B, E, A, B, E, A, B, E, A, B, E. And that's a funny sound, but it's a syllable shape that's focusing on that consonant sound in the middle of a word. Okay, and when you know when they get really advanced and you're just ready to work on some CVC words, and let's say you're targeting CVC words, CVC words would be at the beginning of your page. You come back, you put that B here, you put that A here, you put that M here. What do we have? You can teach the sound individually. B, M, M, B, M, M. Bam, bam, bam. You see what I'm saying? It can grow with them. You know, it can go from doing silly, silly syllable shapes to doing actual CVC words. Okay? And let's just say we want to do the B sound on the end. What word can we do that when it may not be a real word, but it can still be CVC and teach it? Let's see, we do. Okay, nab. So you have, okay, that's a you, y'all. But uh, where's my end with it? Here's my end right here. All right, so it's n a b. N a b. Nab. 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 See how that works? And so this page is so interactive. Like I said, I didn't do it twice. Whatever sound that you're working on and how you want to target it, once you go to that new sound and you made it past isolation and you're working on the syllable shapes, you can just always come back to this sheet. Okay? So you would just take these off once you're done with them and put them back on your storage page. Okay? And they're still you can decide how uh, how you want it to go. If you want your syllables at the top or at the bottom, but they are color coded. Your consonant sounds are in blue, and your syllables are, I mean, and your uh, vowels are in red. 
all right so that's how that goes all right okay so that's that page and like I said you can come back to that one as many times as you need to all right so now we've done the isolation we've done the syllables now what we're going to do is work on some um auditory discrimination it's a list of pictures here some of these words start with b other uh, some of these pictures start with b others don't so it says look at all the pictures let's find the things that start with the b sound listen carefully so the extra says point and say the name of each, pic each picture to see if one starts with b or not provide correction where necessary you can use an m and m or a bingo or bingo dots to cover the pictures that start with b all right and that's still another way to make it interactive so what you're going to do is first what you want to do give the child the benefit of the doubt by saying the name of each picture and having them listen and you're going to reiterate to them look we're listening for sounds that have the b b b sound what sound are we listening for b b b as I say the sound or say the name of the picture I want you to watch my mouth to see if you see the b b sound have your ears open to see if you can hear the b b b sound the ball sound the bouncing sound and it kind of has a a popping to it a little bit you know you want them to be able to listen for it so you're going to do bat pig bag bike bed door moon bone so you've gone over the picture so now what you're going to do start with the first picture here is the um picture bat make sure you have it where they can still see your mouth bat does bat start with the b sound and of course you probably will have this laying down and if you say if it does you can say yes or no or if not if bat starts with the b sound I want you to cover it with your bingo chip and you'll let them put the bingo chip on top and right now you might either want to provide the correction or you want to go ahead if they got it right or got it wrong you might want to go ahead and confirm if not you might want to go ahead and go through the entire activity and go back and provide your correction as you take the chips off and have them watch and say um okay if they did cover right you was like yeah this is right b b b bat it starts with the b sound if you've gone over it and now you're taking the chips off and you know that that was one that they didn't cover that it didn't start with b or let's just say they said pig started with b so they covered that one when you go back to uncover it you're going to say well this is pig say that with me pig p p p that's the popping sound not the b b b sound you know and and give them that correction that's necessary so you go through each picture let them cover the ones up with the bingo chip or with an m m or whatever of your choice of the one that you think that they think starts with b excuse me y'all and then after they've done that you go back and you provide the correction as necessary because this is laminated you can make it fun for them and let them have the little um, markers that you can use on laminated activities to color markers and have them circle or put an X on it you can make it as interactive as you need to so this page focuses mainly on getting them to tell the B sound from another sound because you want to make sure that not only do they understand know how to say it but they know how to distinguish distinguish it when they hear it because if they don't and you're noticing they're having a problem with that later on that could lead to some phonology problems which could affect their reading okay and let me show you what it looks like for the p sound all right it's the same thing for the p sound all right so you have pet band boy pig coat pan pair pull and pin and you do the same thing go and name the picture excuse me go and name the pictures first and then have them 
go back with a m m or a bingo chip or a colored marker or whatever and circle the ones they think start with b and then when you're once they're done go back and provide the correction by telling them what the sound looks like and um what it sounds like and how to make it so they can know the distinction between those two sounds so this is what it looks like for the p page just to kind of give you um an idea okay so then once you're done with that Oh, and at the same time, let me also say, let's just say, okay, they've gotten to the point now where they are able to um, distinguish the sounds from each other. Then you might still use this page just to get them used to being able to say words that start with B. So you might um, lay it down flat like this, lay it down flat. And then you say, okay, bet. Let's say the bat sound, let's say the word bat five times. B, 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 um, and make the sound bat, 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 bat. And once they, they're done saying it five times and you use it by, you know, what I used to do um, or what I still do is when I get them to say the sound, I'll use my finger to count it off. Bat, 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 bat bat and once you've done that and they've counted it off and within them saying it you're going to provide correction where necessary then you let them circle it you let them cover it with a bingo chip or you put an m&m over it you can still use it to target making the sound in initial position all right and the last thing that we have here let me let this go up a little bit all right and the last thing that we have here and like I said, you're going to take your time to get to each page. So don't feel the need to rush. You have words that start with the letter B here. Bear, bus, bone, bike, bib. You might just want to start off having them say these words first. Bear, bus, bone, bike, bib. This is a good way to get them to identify. If you want to make this a language concept, um, you can say, well, show me. You can cover this side up if you want and say, show me the bear. See if they can identify the bear from the bus and the rest of the things. Show me the bone. Show me what dogs like to eat. Turn it around and make it about object function or a WH question. Show me what a baby has to wear around their neck. Okay, then you can say, what does a dog eat and you and they can give it expressive bone what do kids ride to school and make it expressive and a wh question bus you know you might want to start off with that first but what you will notice is that there are sentences right here on the page and the direction says let's complete each sentence by connecting it to the correct picture repeat the sentence after me the goal is to get them to say the sentence and I will say you guys I did not include a phrase but these sentences are fairly long um and sometimes you know sometimes kids don't they go right from word straight to sentence sometimes they will be they have to be on the phrase level but most of the time I've learned when they're able to say it in a word and maybe a multi syllable word sometimes they skip all the way over the phrases and go right to sentences so I did do sentences here as a way to get them to learn object function sentence completion to understand the the word that starts with B and its function if it's a noun it's a verb and how to you know use it in a sentence and the goal here is to get them to complete the sentence correctly and to be able to say the sentence after you so you have I went to the zoo and saw a big brown, is it bear, bus, bone, bike, or bib? And you say bear, and let's say it together. I went to the zoo and saw a big brown bear. And if that sentence is too much, make it short, okay, as you need to. I ride a blank to school. Which one is it? And they say bus. And I say, what do we ride to school? We ride a bus. And they give it back to you in a sentence. Okay? And so that's pretty much how it goes. I'll show you what it looks like for P. It's the same thing. Here. You have pillow, puddle, paint, pencil, park. 
and you do the same thing you you might want to go over the pictures first and have them identify them ask some wh and yes no questions and then ease your way into being able to do them in a sentence and have them repeat and it does the same thing for each sound so again this book i know you glad you can see my face now okay so again this book is called articulation activity book of early sounds i really think you would like it i really think you will enjoy it and i think it's probably going to be my second best seller if you all like baby's first words and i'm pretty sure you're going to like the articulation activity book of early sounds so if you have any questions or concerns please contact me if you are interested in this product you can go to www.speechlanguageandbeyond.com click on the speech therapy sheets tab look under the articulation section and you will look for the title articulation activity book of early sounds you can click on the free sample which i want to say that the sample covers mainly the b sound i think you can get that section for free during um the sample or if you want the entire thing go ahead and add it to your shopping cart and i will tell you I do not mail off these products because I just have too much um, other things going on and I know that would be too much of a commitment for me to do right now. So what I do is when you purchase it and I'm notified that you have purchased it, I will email this to you. All of my products will be emailed to you they always come with an open password it's a pdf document i will send it to you via email so make sure that you provide a valid email address that once i get it and i email it to you that you've received it okay um so again all the information will be in the box you will also have my address my email address there if you have any questions further questions or concerns on how to use this thank you